today we've got Nicole teaching us how to do uh, jewelry, which she's amazing at. She used to have an Etsy website called Perfectly Paged Gems. Yeah. Is that right? Mm hmm And it's because I Hi, went... Hi, Bev. Hi, Diane. Hi, guys. I went to school oh, with... Oh, people do shrink. What? She said, oh, people shrink. She's just called you old. <laughs> Who said that? Krista, you just got my rig. You just get, oh, you get yourself back. Oh, and she pinned it. She pinned it so we can keep seeing it the wow, whole time. Krista. <laughs> really, Krista? Okay, and old people do shrink, but not me. So, um, okay, so what was I going to say? What we're doing. I used to make bracelets back in the day when I was pregnant with Kinsley. I needed something to sassy do. Sassy pants, sassy pants. Yes, when I was pregnant with sassy pants, I wanted something to keep me busy. Um, because, you know, I was drinking um, tea at night instead of wine. So I had lots of time on my hands. So I started making bracelets. And I made them for kids and for moms. So like matching sets. So I'm going to show you guys really quick what you need. To start but it took off because you know Nicole's she's a lot of fun I am a lot of fun. and you people need to like tell them pictures. what else is happening in your life oh my gosh are you allowed to say it I don't know if I I I guess I think you can I think you can say okay so they all know about the cheer the cheer banquet Nicole's the cheer coach for a high school here and then there were some issues with the cheerleaders and their parents but we were past that past all, that everybody loves Nicole now coach Nicole the you know the cheer coach but now I'm trying out for a cheer show it's washed up cheerleaders coming back <laughs> 20 years later so oh we legit and um oh Sonia's on here. Her daughter is trying out She's with in me. It too. And the, um and both and of her daughters. Yeah, Gabby's on Gabby it too. and Vanessa. And yeah, we're trying out for a cheer show. And it's basically finding rival high schools to get back together if you've been 10, 15, 20 years out of high school and cheering again. So legit, we are 20 years out of high school. We are trying out for the show. We've had That's two funny. cheer practices. And we had an audition yesterday. And they look good. And they look really you've got, good. You've gotten a call back. Yeah, so we'll see. How I know. See another that? TV in the show and the family. You never know. You never know. We tried to tell my son last night. We had dinner with my son last night. We we're like, well, do you have a TV show? What are you doing? And he's like, what, what are you talking about? Well, apparently he doesn't know what a big deal we are. Yeah. But how funny would that be, you guys, if you now start watching reality TV and Nicole's and like... And I might be on there cheering as a washed up, I, I almost 40-year-old. A washed up, 40-year-old, old cheerleader trying to live through her glory days. I know. All right, we're going to get started because oh, I have right. to pick up kids from school. And we okay. want to make sure you get all the time to learn how to make these because they're there super we go. fun. Okay, so this is my show today. Uh, Mom Mom's on. Hi, Mom Mom. Okay, <laughs> my mom's on. Um, okay, first of all, you need this. This is called Stretch Magic. You get the, um, you can do five meter. I think they have a little, or no, sorry. The, it's the one millimeter clear is what I always get. Okay, it's the best. So Stretch Magic, you can get it at Michael's. Use your 50% off code. Snapshot that. Then you go to, well, you can go to Michael's or your local, like every town usually has a bead vendor oh yes totally the new kardashians um so if you want yeah, talk so loud. am i talking really loud you're talking really loud I'm sorry um okay, i just you know, she's not she's new to tv i we am gonna get to her TV. groomed for her new tv show um okay but anyways go to your local bead vendor you can pick out any beads you want i've got these for today i do glass beads i think they look nicer Got yes. these ones. We're going to do fun girly bracelets today. So you know what we say. If you're going to do it, do it right. Yep. Do glass. Don't do plastic beads. And then these beads. Okay. So we're going to do three different bracelets. We've got three different style beads. I also love chain. So I did chain yes. with all of my bracelets. Wait so you see. Yes. you can see the chain. Cheer, somebody, Barbara, Barbara Davis just said cheer coaches all talk loud. We do. We, it's a, just a natural habit. But you guys, you would die if you saw it. When Nicole did her cheer from high school, I was like, she nailed it. We, I, we could, could post it on your page if everybody wants to see it. Oh, we're going to. We're going to post, post the routine. Because you, you guys, it'll crack you up. She still got it, which makes me laugh. See, they all like that I'm loud. Okay, something important with your beads or with your chain. It needs to have the, the slit so that you can use pliers to open it up. I don't know if you can see that, but it needs to have the slit so you can open it. You'll see. And they're, then I've got some fun things that you can do with oh, it. Oh, they're saying inside voice, yeah. Yeah, okay, sorry. <laughs> um, you can do like these cute little things. I've got this. I did a, 
um, a bunch of bracelets for a little girl's party. It was a Paris theme, so Aww. we did Paris, yes. And the other thing you have to have, two more things that you have to have, are these. Hold on, where do you get the chain? Did we already talk about that? Your chain, you, this I got at Michael's. It's mm, not I, my favorite. It's not bad though. But I would also go with your local bead vendor. They'll sell chain. They'll sell all of this at your local bead vendor. Uh, not in Canada, because apparently you can't get anything in Canada. But Ooh. other than that, no, um, Amazon. True. You can get it on Amazon too. And then I don't know what these are called, but these little things that you'll see what I use them for. Okay, hold on. Clamp. Can you tumble and can you still do the splits? I cannot do the splits, and I might be taking tumbling classes soon. What? But yes, I used to be able to tumble. You're gonna, you're gonna start taking tumbling. Class? I might start taking tumbling classes Both again. Of my they have adult classes at my kids' gym, okay, and now I might go funny. work on, you know, getting a back handspring or a back tuck again. We'll see. <laughs> you're gonna break a hip, and you know it. I know. Um, okay, oh so goodness. for the length of your cord. I usually do a decent amount because I need to have enough to tie off at the end. So I would say that's like, if you can see, it's a pretty decent amount. I would say that's about, I don't know, 12 to 15 oh, inches. Oh, everybody's saying they're seed beads. Seed beads. What oh, are yes. seed beads? These are seed beads then. Oh, those are seed, seed beads. beads. Yes, yes, those are seed, seed beads. I learned how to make bracelets on um, YouTube. So I don't really know a lot other than I just kind of wung it. And eventually it worked out. Yes, they're all Mary Jane, Gina, Bev. Uh, uh, yes, they're seed beads. Perfect. Um, no, Michelle Michelle Hall, it's never a dull moment. There's something always happening over here. Okay, so this little guy Joanne. here, I'm going to just clamp at the end. And I only do this because you don't want all your beads to fall off. But you're not using a roach clip because that's what I used to use as a roach clip. What's a roach clip? Donna? Oh, a roach clip was when you were, if you were my age, mm -hmm. that's what you held your uh, marijuana with. Oh, I, pers oh. I personally didn't, Learning but I feel like people like me, Joanne White, Michelle Hall, Krista, maybe some of those girls did they that. They would know. I didn't do hmm. it, but um, anyway, that's what we, that's what I use as a roach clip. So is this what it feels like when I interrupt you the whole time that I'm trying to do? Totally. Oh God, it's so annoying. Totally. I know. <laughs> See? See? Okay, we're gonna start with this bead. I'm gonna start with the easiest one first, okay? So we're gonna start with this bead here, and this one is gonna have nothing. We're just gonna string it, okay? And it goes super quick. So you just string it, drop it down. Now you're gonna see, I usually end up with like 16 to 18 beads for an adult, and then for a kid, it's usually, I think 12 to 14 beads. So we're gonna start with the kid set, just to make it <laughs> quicker. Who knew how professional you could be? Right? Like I wasn't expecting, I was expecting this to be so casual. Could you right guys now, imagine me at cheer practice when nobody's listening to me? I lose it. No, this is why I'm so I can't stressed teach school right, right now. now. Come here, Max, can you come say hi? Oh, Hold on, you, you guys, guys you've never my met my grandson. He's so aggressive. And so you're not gonna meet him yet. Hold on. <laughs> this is Max, the sweetest boy in the whole world. Can you Aww. say hi? Aww. Is he not the sweetest, cutest kid ever? You know who he looks like? Brad Pitt. Totally looks like Brad Pitt at a young age. We've, we've shown pictures of him. And who else was it? Was it Leo DiCaprio? No, I forget who was the, the other, other guy. One? Anyway, this is Max. He's nine. He's the sweetest boy ever. Um, He's home from school for summer break. And so Max and I, tomorrow we're going uh, to Mac, tomorrow we're gonna go do uh, pup pup golf. We're gonna go to lunch, we're gonna make pizza and go to pop up luck. You wanna send Nicole um, crochet seed beads? All right, okay. Um, I am a natural TV show host. Do you oh. see how these people like me, Max? Brother. Oh, they said you're so handsome. He is so handsome. He is Hi, Max. so Oh, here's so what's handsome. so funny. His name is spelled with two X's, and my husband like thought TJ that was- Like TJ Max. Yeah, so not necessary that when I couldn't be at his first day of school, because back when I uh, did work, I traveled to do conferences, and so, out. can you get out of my way? I'm sorry, we like you on our TV show, but you now you're out back, back in town. Wow. All right, Max, you're out. Oh, Yo, no, come here, I need your wrist. <laughs> come here. Oh, this used to make him so mad, because I would need a kid yeah. wrist to see where I was at with my beads. And this why, if, you there know, if Max turns so out, you can see. if Ma Max turns out a different way, it's okay. Uh, I have a tiny, I'm teeny tiny. Oh, you do have a, t oh, you do have like, well, his is still smaller. So, I measure it. You want to make sure that the beads go all the way to the end, okay? So like for, if I was doing a kid's bracelet, so here we are, I would need at least one more to fit it all the way 
So how many beads are we talking now? So for a kid's bracelet. I know, sorry, Matt. He's so cute. Okay, he's one, two, three, four, guys, five, six, seven, eight, ever. nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so the reason there are more is these are a little bit flat and they're not as round as a regular bead. So I have 17 of these for a kid's size bracelet, okay? So this one, we're not adding anything to. We're not making this one fancy. I'm gonna do the other ones fancy. I just wanna get the ball rolling. So I'm gonna untie, or I'm gonna undo this roach clamp. <laughs> no, you burped, because this is what happens to me when I'm, when I'm teaching, because you're talking constantly. I didn't burp. Mom, I don't know how to burp. Do we not remember this she, conversation? I'm pretty sure she burped a little no, bit. No, I don't burp. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Ryan Gosling, that's who it is. Oh, Ryan, yes, yes, Ryan yes. Ryan Gosling, that's who it is. I, uh, I need to post a picture because he's so, he's so adorable. Yeah. Okay, so now I need to make sure my beads don't fall. So this is where those bead seeds, is that what we call them? Come into play. Seed beads. Seed beads. Roach clip seed beads so is here anybody is anybody really listening what is this just so involved in this so fast we're used to saying hi we talk there's a lot of stuff going on well i felt like you wanted me to make sure we got this done it doesn't take five minutes to make three bracelets <sighs> all right all right all right all right you keep talking canadian ryan yes depends on size of beads right nicole what does yes it does depend on the size of the beads how many we will use yeah but here i uh what are these Seed beads. No, what is this thing called? Um, Oops. Uh, those are seed beads, and this is uh, needle nose pliers. Yep, needle nose pliers. Hi, Robin. We need a oh, Kathy King. Right? We need a joint. <laughs> Maybe a glass of wine. Just a glass of wine. We're not really, you know. I should have had champagne yeah. ready for us. Okay, so now I am going. I see him. Yeah, pliers. Needle nose. Oh, see, no. Pamela Elliott, get in here. You're missing everything. Come on, get in here. Uh, okay, and you have to make sure that your bead fits over your... Crimp heads, we started early. Crimp heads. Oh, we did start early. We didn't mean to, but we did. We started really early. What do you... Okay, I don't know, now I've got all sidetracked here. Okay. Okay, so I drop it down. So that's gonna hold it in place. I'm gonna take my pliers and I'm gonna just crimp it. Okay, so now these are crimp beads. Oh yeah, they're crimp beads. Well, our seed, you guys are, well, you're the jewelry I, expert. You know, I, I, I just make the jewelry. I never knew I had to teach anybody. Our seed beads and- Oh, you can't see what I'm doing, okay. Are seed beads and crimp beads the same thing? Somebody tell me. Watch the beginning. Yes, yeah, Sue, go back. You gotta watch the whole beginning. So here's what I'm doing. I'm taking- You can't see what you're doing. Okay, here. So here's the oh, string. I'm gonna take the bead and it's gonna go over top of the string. So I'm gonna take my string and put it through the hole. Which I'm gonna to have to move it closer to me just for a second. Listen, I am not known to be a professional at this. I am nervous. No, and I just- I am gonna screw this up. You're not gonna screw it up. So they here it is. Care. So here it's on there, okay? And now you see it drop down. So now it's at the base. Oh, I should have probably put deodorant on before we started. You're fine. Okay, so here we go. And then you crimp it. Can you see? And now the beads won't okay. fall. So Michelle Hall is saying crimp beads are different. They're now all saying, Kathy, they're all saying they're not, uh, seed beads are not the same as crimp beads. Okay, these are crimp beads. I can tell you and for a fact, crimp these are crimp beads. Here's how they come. Oh, don't, 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 don't. My goodness, lady. They don't say anything. Oh my God. Nicole, you, not you touch oh my, my God. Supplies? You stop touching stuff. Wow, what is happening? I know, we're a hot mess. Because we started early. We started early, we didn't mean to. I wasn't prepared. I really haven't had wine. Everything's a mess. Okay. All right, these are crimp beads. Oh, I need to move over more. Do you need Debbie out of the picture? Got it, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm out. So, I'm so happy right now. It's a crimp bead, it's a crimp bead. Okay, now <laughs> what we're gonna do is tie it. Okay, so all I've done is string 17 beads onto this clear stretch magic. And then I've taken the crimp beads on each end and I've crimped it off so that it stays. That's all we've done. This is my most simple bracelet. So I don't want you guys to be disappointed because it's gonna get better. We're gonna do more. Now I'm taking this 
bead here. These are like kind of like they cover the um, tie. So I've got cute little gold ones that cover the tie. They've got a bigger hole so that it'll fit nicely. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. So I'm gonna take this one on one end, drop it down. I do it after I crimp the beads. So I do the bead crimp first and then I drop down this final end bead, okay? Then I'm gonna turn it, I'm gonna tie it off. I'm gonna tie it as tight as I can at the end here. So you'll see I'm tying it as tight as I can and I usually do this about three times. So one, that was two, and then three. And what you're gonna see is it leaves a thicker plastic tie right there, okay? So I tie it off nice and tight. Wait, when you say plastic tie, I don't understand what you're saying. Well, this is plastic. This, this stuff right here, this stretch stuff is like a plastic. Okay, okay. So when I tie it, I'm just tying off the plastic, okay? Now, I'm gonna take my glue. This is called cement, GS Hypo Cement Glue. This is the one I have found to be the best. I have sold these bracelets to lots and lots of um, moms with young kids, and I've never had anybody come back and say. But have you sold it to any celebrities? No, but maybe after today. Though I didn't, I don't know that I would. I, I mean, I've taken such a long hiatus from this. You have. It's been weeks since we've seen you. I know. Okay, so you'll see it comes out super quick. So you got to dive right in, and you're gonna just put it on that little thing that you just made. So that tie off that you made, and then I flip it over. So I'm oh, just flipping it people over. People are saying that's the best glue ever. Yeah. And then I'm gonna t get it on the other side as well. And I just really push it in there. And then it leaves a thick knot when you tie it to your yes, brush. It does. Says. It does leave a thick knot, but that's okay because I buy, and then I would always put your cap right back on your glue if I can. And then keep pulling this. Okay. Cause if you don't, the tie is going to come apart. Okay. So you got to hold on to it for a couple seconds. You can blow on it whatever you need to do to get it to dry. How but what long does it take a while? Um, I would say just a couple of seconds. It doesn't take too long, but you can kind of see that it's tied off. And then this is where this gold thing comes in handy. Yes, I can hold the glue up again while this is drying. Hopefully it's not backwards, but it's GS Hypo Cement. Okay. GS Hypo Cement. So Kathy and Callie, if you guys can find a link for that, that would be awesome. I didn't know we were going live like 20 minutes early because it we- It was five minutes early. It was five, but it felt like 20 because we hit the button and I, I haven't even tinkled yet. So it, it was it was early. Um, all right, Michelle's got it. Good okay. Deal, Michelle. Okay, so now- Oh, look at you already have- Kathy's face on top of it? Wow. Hi, Kathy. Sharon. Good to see you too. Aww. Okay, so now it's pretty well dry, but I'm going to let it sit. I'm not going to cut it yet. I'm not going to cut this string because I just want to make sure I don't have any issues and that it's completely dry. So you guys, this is bracelet number one. Is everything sold in the jewelry section at Hobby Lobby? Yes. Yes. Gina, or Michaels. Everything is sold in the jewelry section at Hobby Lobby or Michaels, including that cement glue? Oh, um, no. This I got at my local bead vendor. So I would say maybe Amazon. I do like, well, both of them have good beads. I mean, again, if you can get to it, if you have a local bead vendor, that's the best. Um, They're wanting to know what else, Nicole, in your uh, crafting career have you used this glue for? Nothing. I have not done any other crafting. So... If you were to be a crafter in your career, would you use this for anything else? Do you think this could work on anything else? It's pretty strong. So I would, yeah, I mean, probably. It's a good glue. Um, but you can see, super simple uh, bracelet. Kathy Spang said we shouldn't all sound so surprised that she nailed that link. That's funny. I know. Sorry, Kathy, but that was pretty amazing. I was impressed. Um, okay, but that's the bracelet. Okay, Yay. so first one. So cute. Super simple. Now we are going to do the chain because that's like the hardest. So we'll put that in the middle, okay? So when I do the chain, I have to really think about how many beads I'm gonna Let's be putting on my bracelet. 
So now we're gonna put a chain on the brace. I'm so sad we don't all have them on. I know. But if you look at the pictures I posted, my granddaughters do have all, all of them on. But now we're gonna put a chain on with the beads and this is what takes it up a notch. Yeah. So I usually do a very simple bead with the chain. So like this bead right here Which I love. is a little bit big. And so I don't wanna do the chain with one of my bigger beads. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my clear beads, which are a lot smaller. You can see they're just a lot smaller. And the chain's gonna look a lot nicer on here, okay? Can you cut the strings off? Yes. Yes, but not yet. Why not yet? Because I wanna make sure it's completely dry before I do too much with it. Oh, because she is a master crafter. I am a master crafter. She is a master crafter daughter. Master crafter's daughter, anyway. True. All right. So now I wanna make sure so, nor see, here's the thing. Back in the day, I knew exactly how many beads I had to do for kids. So, I did. But you can see, you don't have a lot of money here. You've got, how much money do you think you've got in each bracelet? Um, I would say each bracelet maybe cost me four or five dollars. Then how come you were selling them for 20 plus? Well, how else do you make money? <laughs> Just and my it. time is incredibly valuable. It is incredibly valuable. Yes. Oh, I am a master crafter cheerleader. That is right. So wow, she is. Okay, okay that. So that I true. use one, two, three, four, five, six. Somebody seven, wants. Eight, Gina wants to know: Will that nine, chain ten, fit 10, on? 12, 13, hold on. 14, will the beads 15, fit 15, on the 15, chain? 15. No. No. Wait to see what she's going to do. Yeah, I'll show you, Gina. This is we're taking it up a notch. We are Gina. getting we are getting rowdy right now. Yeah. Okay, so I used 18 beads for this. So because I know that these beads are flatter, more than likely I'm gonna use 18 beads for this one as well, the smaller ones, these smaller clear ones. So I have to do my math. Where am I gonna put my chain, okay? So what I always do, this is step number one, is I get my roach clamp. <laughs> roach clamp. Roach clamp. Roach clamp. And I cut my string. Oh, I'm so glad you appreciate that we're doing this for you. Okay. Roach clip, roach clip, roach clip, sorry. Okay, I always want one bead to start, okay? So we just take one bead to start. <laughs> Michelle Hall, she goes, I keep thinking Nicole's gonna say, ready? Okay. okay. I could do that. Any I could do a cheer for you guys happen. today if you'd like. Will you, I swear to you, would you? I could, I could <gasps> think about it. No, she's going to. This, that's, when she says, I'll think about it, it means it's a done okay. deal. Okay. Carol Foster, I thought this was later. Carol, we did too. Sorry. We, okay. we hit the button. So one bead. We jumped again. Okay, that's it. One bead to start. And then is when the chain comes in. Okay? I'm excited. So here's what we're going to do. I haven't cut my chain. It's super long. I'm not doing anything to it yet. Other than taking the very end piece and putting my string right through it. Okay? So now I go from having a bead and then a piece of chain, okay? Now I'm not gonna touch this chain for a minute. I know that I have 18 beads that I'm gonna use, probably. So I'm gonna do one, and then I'm gonna do five, and then I'm gonna do four, and then I'm gonna do five. Right, what does that give me? Right, four, so, five, four? Five, four, five, nine, five is 15. No, so I'm gonna do five, six, five, because that gives me 17. 16. 16. Five, six, you five. have to be smart to do this. 16. Five, six, and five is 16. Okay, it is 16. And then this is 17 on this side. And then we're going to do one more on the other side that's going to give me 18. Hold okay. on. Linda Schluter, I just saw you private message me. Get on here. We went early. Sorry. Okay. So now I'm going to do five beads. Okay. So I'm going one because I know I need to do 18 beads and I want to separate my uh, chain evenly. Okay, hold on. I don't understand what you're saying. You want to separate your chain evenly? Yeah, like I don't want to put, I, I don't want, okay. You'll see. Give me one second. I think it'll make more sense if I just do it really quick. So okay. guys, I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just stringing beads. People are sharing this video to their pages, so. They are? Yeah. That's so when you do so your cheer, cool. it's going to really set you aside as like a big okay. deal. Okay. So now I've strung five beads. So you can see what I've done. I've got white bead, and then I drop my chain down, five beads. Now, I need to string my chain again. But I wanna do it so that it's loose enough 
I don't want to do it crazy tight. Okay. See that it's going to go next to each other, but I don't want it to be too tight because then the bracelet doesn't have any give when you put it on. So you need to give your chain a little extra loop. Okay. So I will probably loop it closer to like right here. So see how much longer it is, but it's going to give me the give for when it's on my wrist. And all I'm doing is taking my string and putting it through that hole, right here, okay? Now, when I pull it through, see how it <gasps> hangs? Wow, I love that. Yeah, so I'm gonna count this because I want it to be perfectly even. So I wanna know how many loops did it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Um, did you get it? <laughs> I heard you. Okay, I see on. what you did there. Did you see what I did there? I know. Okay, so it took me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So fifteen of these little loops from top to beginning to end. Okay. So now I'm gonna do six. Again, I'm trying yes. to keep it even. Allison, do we need to count how many chain links? Yes. What yeah, did you say? I just counted 15? 15. Okay. And then she said, never mind, because then she saw you do it. So See? she was on your page. I know. Okay, they're loving it. They're saying this is fancy. It's it phenomenal. Is really it's really fancy. Awesome. Thanks, guys. No, really, this is cool. When I used to wear all these bracelets that Nicole used to make me, people would always stop me and say, okay, where'd you get the bracelets? And especially if I had my granddaughters with me and they all had their bracelets on. Yeah, they were super cute. Everybody thought it was so stinking cute. But you're talking really fast. So like, I don't know if everybody's really getting I am. I do talk really fast, you guys. It's a bad habit of mine. Okay. Ready? Now, oh, okay. I've done six. Okay, so we did one, two, three, four, five. And now I'm gonna do six here. Because remember, I gotta keep this as even as possible. I'm not gonna do 15 chains because I added an extra bead. Typically, two extra links will accumulate to one bead. So I'm gonna do 17 chain links, and that is including this one right here. So this one that we've already looped, that's one. And then I'm gonna count two below it to 17. Okay, give me a second. I have no idea what she just said. Do you any do? of you? No, I don't understand. How does that make sense? Okay, let's say this one more time. This loop right here, this very, this one we've already looped in to the um, actual pl uh, plastic string counts as one. Okay, the one below it is now two, and I'm going to count to seventeen. Is the string elastic? Elastic, yeah, I yes. guess. Okay. Sorry, Nelda, it is. Yes. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 15, 16, 17. And you guys, if it's not perfect, it's not perfect. But I counted to 17. This is loop 17. I am going to put my elastic through that loop. I'm gonna get smarter as we go because of you women, because you're gonna teach me all the right things to say. It's true. I know. <gasps> so now. Okay, how much you guys love this? That's that. Love it. Now we're going back to five, okay? Because I want 16, I needed uh, 17 beads, no, 18 beads total. So now I'm going back to five. So I'm gonna do five more beads. I'm catching, I'm trying to Oh, catch. see, Gina sees what I mean by that. Gina Thanks, gets Gina. It. I know, Gina gets it. A lot of them get it. Karen oh, Harper, I am it makes sense. I don't know why you're sitting next to me. I feel like I stink, sorry. You don't. I don't? I would tell okay, you good. if you Thank did, you. but you don't. Okay, Diane wants to see the string again. Okay. Did you hear Nicole? Okay, I can do 17 things at once, no problem. And raise three children. Here you go. <laughs> String or stitch, what is it called? Stretch magic, sorry. Hold on, Rick, if you guys remember our friend Rick. Rick makes jewelry? Rick, we don't have a lot of girls, we don't have a lot of guys on here, Rick, but we do allow Rick to be on. And Rick makes his own jewelry too. Oh, yes, Michelle, you know, maybe, who knows? Maybe this will put me back in business. Maybe I can Oh yeah, Michelle get back wants to, Nicole to just make her one. Yeah, I'll just do, I'll just start selling these ones. The ones Claudia, where all the math has to be Claudia, done. Claudia, I'm totally lost too. I have no idea what's happening. This is Nicole's whole gig. She's gonna run through it so fast and we all go, we just start throwing money at Nicole so she makes us some. Exactly. Okay, so now I've strung another five beads over here. Okay, so I've done one bead, strung it, did my very beginning of my chain, counted to 15, okay? Five beads, 15 chain links. Then I did six beads, 17 
chain lengths. Now I'm back at five beads again. How many beads? 16. Got 16, so yeah, but right? now, no, I needed 18 beads total, but one caps it on this side and then one on that side. Oh, three. You're so pretty. <laughs> so because I did I 15 here, I'm it. gonna do 15 chain links here. So again, this chain link already counts as one and I'm gonna count out another 15, I'm gonna count out 15. So this I'm is, counting. This is too much. This is too much. One. Chain link number one, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, yes. 14, 15. They're gonna have to watch in slow-mo because you're so fast. None of us have any idea what you're doing, except for Gina. Uh-oh, hold on. Clear that call. Um, okay, so I've done 15, I've counted out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Ooh, I just said a bad word, sorry. Um, two, nothing to see three, here. Four, Move on. Six, nothing to see here. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. Here we go. So that's 15. So I'm going to take my elastic, slip it through. Okay. Now, oh, that's you've got so cute. all of that. Okay. But I need an end bead. Okay. So I had an end bead over here and I need another end bead over here. So I'm going to do one more. Michelle, Michelle Hall, I need clip notes too. This is like, I... Carol Davis, totally understand Carol Davis Thank is the you, purse. Thank you, Carol. Oh my gosh, and Nicole has her purse sitting out today, and I said, don't you love it? She goes, yeah, I'm taking it with me. She's going on her trip tomorrow. She's taking it with her. Okay, so remember Carol. what I said, ladies. I needed 18 beads total. I want this to look nice, even, and pretty. So what? It, and I knew that I needed one end bead here and one end bead here. So I had to figure out how many I needed in the middle. I need 18. 16 had to go in the middle. Does I get that it. make sense? That cat, yes, okay. I get it. And then I want to make sure I evenly disperse my chain. So I figured 15 links for the five, 17 links for the six, and then another 15 links for the, for the five. Got it. Got it? Yeah. So now we're done. We're ready to start our crimp beads. Uh, drinks and uh, bracelets, uh, jewelry, jewelry and swearing. That's what it is. Drinks know, and swears. Um, okay, so now I'm taking my crimp bead because I have a bunch of them all over the table, thanks to my mom. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know that you didn't have your stuff in organized. So here's my crimp bead. I know it's teeny tiny, okay? And all it's doing is going over the elastic. And you have to have really good eyeballs I know, to it's see hard that. To see. I, don't, I don't even know how mm -hmm. she's seeing that. There we uh, go. Cheryl, it's clear to you. All right. See, I make sense. <laughs> I was a teacher one, at one point in my life. It, it is. Oh my gosh, I can't. Nancy get it. Evans, this is like, yeah, it is. It's like we're all in our Latin class and nobody has a clue what we're okay. talking about. So Except one Betty. crimp bead. Betty Wright's got it. One crimp bead, dropped it down, and I'm going to crimp it off. Could you make a necklace like this, Nicole? They want to know? Um, yes. I did actually. I made a boy's necklace. Um, but for necklaces, good question. Well, Babu. Babu's a, a necklace maker from way back. Really? So yes, for necklaces, they really want a necklace. Oh, okay. Here, I'll show you. Um, I have to get, you have to get all this stuff. So for necklaces, you have to have this little um, findings. And then you have to have your Michelle. additional findings, which is your clip. So you can clip your necklace together. And what's nice for these beads when you're doing necklaces, and then I use Susie Matson. I do too. I can't do anything without an alt light. It's the best. Beaded string wire. And that makes a really easy necklace. So I can come back and show that if we have time at the end. Oh, is this before or after your cheer? <sighs> I don't know, so many things to do today. And I still haven't packed you guys. Well, I have kind of packed, but I just gotta get my kids ready. I know, you got stuff. And I made here. time I'm for here. you. I did, I took time out of that crazy schedule for like you guys. Six o'clock tomorrow morning. We so, are. Yeah, she's on it. Which is why I have yet to shower. Okay. Lobster claw clips. Oh yeah, Diane, those are good. So now, again, I'm gonna clamp at the top, okay? I am not going to, or wait, hold on. What I am gonna do is now I've gotta get rid of the rest of this wire, okay? So this is why I have two sets of pliers because I'm gonna take the very last one. So if you can see here, you've got your very last one already wrapped in the elastic. 
I want the one below it that is not a part of the elastic. That's this one right here. Oh, I could do another show. I know you guys just want to keep seeing me, so I am happy to come back and do another one. So I'm going to find the point where I can open it, okay? So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to take this one, okay? And we're going to clamp it, and I'm going to pull it apart. Okay. Okay, so it's pulled apart, and now I can pull it out. Nice. Nice. That was perfect. Now, I have so many of these, you guys, and they are so pretty. Okay, so here we go. So there's our... Okay, Kathy Hess says everything except the chain. So yeah, where does where's the chain from again? The chain is from uh, Michael's. Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Yeah. But yeah, so now it's all set. We're going to take again our bead that's going to yeah. hide... Claudia Barrett. Oh, hell's bells. Now she's using two tools at once. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah. This is pretty complicated. I don't get it. Okay. I personally don't get it myself, but... Remember, I'm going to put this at the other end. Now, this gold doesn't quite match the gold of the beat, the chain. Normally, I try to get everything to match as close as possible, but it's okay. So, now what I'm going to do is same thing as last one. We're going to tie it off. And then the glue, I bet. And ladies, this is the hardest one. This is? This one was the hardest one. I didn't feel like that was that hard. The math was really hard for you. It was... <laughs> I didn't get any of it. I just, I've decided this is my That's new life. That's why in high school she just went to look pretty. It I was just, really not about the education. No, I feel like right now between you and my mom, I, the, my job is just to look at, at okay. comments. So I've tied it off three times. So I uh, tied it once and then I did it twice Sue. and then three times. Susie. Oh, I she know, right? She gets it from her grandmother, okay. not from me. So now I got it nice and tight. I'm going to take my glue. And wow. I, know. I don't think you're supposed to do that with your teeth. I don't think it's good for you. And then I'm going to glue it on both sides. Okay. So I glue, took the glue, and I just did it all on both sides of the tie. But see, like right now, you got to move quick because the glue is all coming out and my tie came loose. See how that tie came loose? Oh. So I got to just pull it tight again. And you just pull it super, super tight. The glue will hold it. And then blow on it. Can you do it without the without the glue? You have to have the glue. You have to have the glue. Otherwise, the glue it'll is come what out. holds the okay. tie together. Sometimes when that happens and it comes apart like that, I will do a little bit more just to make sure. You can't do too much glue, to be honest with you. Yes, it thickens the tie, but again, here you. Well, can you see? Yes. Um. Yes, I can see. Right? It's hard to see. It thickens the tie, but it also ensures that it stays. And I get, I buy these things so th the hole for the, yeah, let me help you here. Nicole, how in the world do you, do you guys see this? Okay. So again, <sighs> I know. I couldn't have seen that. If, if somebody had a gun to my head, I wouldn't have been able to see that. I'm telling you right now. Right? I could not have seen it. Okay. So it's tied off and it's glued. So it's, but again, once we're done and it's nice and dry, then you're gonna see, we're gonna cut the line, the elastic, and pull this little gold piece over it so that you don't see that tie off, okay? So we're done with this one now. Wow. What is that? Lori Crap. Da what Lori is that? What is She's that not blind and decrepit. Decrepit. She's just decrepit, for sure. All right, we're gonna give it one more minute. Susie, you didn't see it and you know you didn't see it. Don't try and act like you guys all saw it and I didn't see it. You guys didn't see it either. There's no chance. Okay. Oh, uh, do you guys see what's not back in California? My hair. My hair's not back again. What does that mean? I have the worst hair here. Mm. This is why I can't live here. There's no chance I can live here. I don't care if my kids are here. My hair's oh. terrible here. Okay, so you can kind of start to see what they're gonna look like together. Obviously, you've got a little bit of that elastic, but you can see what they're gonna look like together. And you know what, Mom? We can pick a winner and send these to that winner. Oh my gosh, but how are we gonna pick a winner? Well, how do you do this? How do you do it in the past? Uh, usually I have Kathy handwrite everybody's name. Gina, it's so humid here, it's insane. Um, what do we do, how do we do it? The first person to answer a question that we see? No, because that's not fair, because everyone's gonna get frustrated because here's the problem. They see different responses than we do. But that's her problem. I know, but I'm just saying. Well, you're the one who talked about the contest, so we'll figure it out. There's going to be a winner. Oh, now Carol Davis thinks you need your own TV show. Thank you. <laughs> she really thinks she... Can 
you guys imagine if Nicole is on this cheer reality show? You guys know we would all watch it and we would have like running dialogue. You should have seen show. our audition. I'm pretty sure we scared the casting director. Because if you think I'm nuts, you should meet my high school girlfriends. It is it just, is true. and all we've nuts. all known each other for 20 plus years. Some of us have known each other longer and we're just maniacs. So, all right, what's next? Okay, so we got one more. So I always did them in stacks of three. Gonna, so here's our two and I've got one more. So that's that. where these beads are gonna come into play, okay? These are a little bit bigger in diameter than the other ones. But they're that's glass. That's right, I said diameter. I'm using big words. <laughs> They're glass, though, and they're really pretty. And you, my last one. So anytime oh, I do. Hold on. Krista says, go through the comments and randomly pick a name. Oh, really, Krista? <laughs> and, by, and by randomly, I mean Krista. Okay, so I always do three bracelets. One that's plain with nothing but just the beads and the end piece. A chain bracelet. I always do one of those. And then the last one that I always do Which is going to look have. just like the plain one. But when I get to the end... Oh, pick me. Um, I add a charm. So you could do something like this, like a little tassel. The person who said that, uh, who the tells Nicole tells that, that I'm not decrepit <laughs> is the winner. Thank you, Lori Craft. Um, yes, you are the winner. Or like I have, this is the one I'm gonna do today. This cute little Paris tower, okay? So, oh, Princess Nicole. And my court. Oh, for God's sakes, Claudia. You women know your way to my heart. Get, get over. Okay, last one, here it comes. So we're gonna cut. Hold on, you guys. Last night, we went to dinner at my son's house and we were cracking up over lasagna because we were talking about love languages because I was telling them. Here, hold on, let's do this really quick. Wow. Right. Because we're gonna multitask. While she's telling you the story, all I'm doing is using my roach clip with my beads. That is so not a roach clip. And I'm clip gonna to start you know. clipping or just dropping beads down the elastic. Okay, go ahead. So, uh, okay, so over lasagna, we're talking about love languages and um, I say, you guys know what my love language is. It's, you know, just words of affirmation. My son goes, oh my gosh, me too. Nicole goes, me too. And I would have thought, I would have sworn on my life that Nicole was um, physical touch. But when Nicole doesn't feel good, she just wants you to rub her head and touch her hair. I do. When I'm sick, I want my head rubbed. But other than that, I am not and a physical touch. When we would sit in church, Nicole would lay in my lap and she would just want me to rub her head. And I, you know, because I'm like physical touch is my least favorite. So I'd be like, okay, all right, all right. You're fine. Okay. Let's get, let's sing and listen to the pastor again. Now we know why physical touch is no longer my love language. No, but isn't it funny that my daughter, my son and maybe my ex-husband and I were all not physical touch. I don't know how we've all survived. I, I don't really know how don't. we're still married. Well, how Danny and I are still married. Well, <laughs> really? <laughs> Just kidding. One, two, uh, three, four, Hold five, on, six. Krista, how does Kathy D, because I know you guys want me to be Kathy D Domenico so desperately. So tell me how she does it and you know, Nicole and I will do it. What does she do? Um, they said, well, Kathy, Kathy D Domenico picks it a certain way. Picks what? Oh. I don't know, a winner. Oh, okay. What do you know about roach clips? Nothing, Jody. I don't know oh. what you're talking about. I know nothing. <laughs> it was a joke from earlier in the day. Oh, crap. Okay. I know nothing. So now, so I did 18 beads. What did I do? Oh, Marlene said, uh, who me too, my Marlene, are you talking about me or my mother? I think you're talking about my mom. Mama. Oh, Mama is super funny. But she doesn't she, know Mama is physical touch. Mama loves to touch you. Yes, she loves. But and I don't we mind. We love she it, me. and we love it when Mama touches us. I don't mind. You. <laughs> no, it's that's why it's I'm her true. favorite. It's true. Okay, so here's how I figure this out, you guys. Hold okay. on, whose birthday is it? Vivian, it's your birthday. Oh, she was the first one we saw. Are you lying, Vivian? Because if you're lying, <laughs> <laughs> you're going straight to hell for that. But if you're not lying. Oh, she has an app to pick someone. She puts them in the computer and then it does a spinning oh, we thing. Don't about that. We don't know about that. I know. We're not that cool. Okay, so here's how I decide how many beads I need. So this one, I go based on this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> Robin. nine, 10, 11, 12. Robin 13, said, just pick me. 15, 16, 17, 18. So I have 18 beads on here. These beads are a teeny bit smaller in diameter than these beads. 
So I'm probably gonna do 17 of these beads so that they all fit nicely and nothing's too baggy. Okay, we're gonna do what somebody just said. Somebody just said she scrolls up and down really fast and then just stops without looking. Oh, that's we'll a good do idea. That. We'll, we'll do, do that. that. Okay. Uh, that's that's funny. One, two, three, four, five, six, we'll, seven, we'll eight, definitely do nine, that. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, 17. And the other reason why I'm gonna do 17 and not 18 is because I know that I need to make space for this one too. Okay, so I've got 17 beads. So the other two, I did 18. Is this one, I'm just doing listening? 17. Yeah, of course they're still listening to me. Okay, all right, all right. My fans, right? Yeah, hold on. Oh, God. You gotta stop touching it. Sorry, you guys, but Judy Stover just private messaged me and I had to answer her, but I guess I shouldn't. No. All right, here we go. Stop messing up my show. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Sorry. Again, all I've done is string the beads on my elastic. I'm gonna take my crimper bead and I'm just gonna put it right on top of the elastic. Beth, Beth St. Peter's Edgman, you've missed everything. You're gonna to have to go back. And then I'm gonna clamp my bead. Okay, same thing, going to the other side. Yeah, everybody start commenting like crazy right now, because seriously, because we're gonna to have to go through the comments oh, and like pick stuff. something. Look at you making such a mess, and now they're all stuck in here. Nicole, sorry. <sighs> Maybe if you had a better uh, container for your stuff. I know. Okay, and I'm crimping the top one. Uh, 17 and gold on the end. Is that right? Gina? 17 and gold on the end. You're Gina, correct. Gina really is listening. Oh, she's in. She's going to make some. In. Okay, so that's all I've done. 17 beads, gold clamps on each end. Now, I'm going to do two things. I'm gonna take my Paris on one end. Okay. They're all hanging on till the cheer at the end. Are they really? Mm -hmm. They're all ready. Right. Yeah. And Nobody I, cares about your jewelry, your stupid jewelry. They just all right, want I'll to do a cheer. cheer. I gotta think about what cheer I'm gonna do. Any cheer. It's a lot what of pressure. The, what about the one that you did for your audition? Okay. And then I did this one on this side. So I've got my. I love it. Paris I on one side, that. gold bead on the other, okay. and then ladies. Just tie it off. And then the, the concrete glue. And we're gonna just tie Cut it off. Cut all the beads and pick the person in the Actually, comments with that number. <gasps> that ladies, is I a lied. great idea. I'm gonna do that. Who said that? What whoever said, I'm gonna, it said count all the beads and whoever gets the closest number. Oh, okay, that's a good idea. I'm gonna do that. Okay, ladies, listen, I lied. So because I don't wanna tie off right here, you what you really should do is the, whatever, what is this thing called? The charm first and then this here, and this will keep it cleaner. So it'll look like that, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and tie it off. Did I do this wrong? See, this is what happens. I get sidetracked and I shouldn't, and then I screw up. I totally screwed up. So what I would have done in a normal day is put it in the middle up here, okay? So I would have done half of my beads, then before I strung another bead, I would have thrown in my, um, what is this called again? Oh my gosh. I'm counting, roach clip. <laughs> no, I would have strung in this little Paris charm, okay? And then I would have done the rest of the beads. So if you guys really wanna do this right, I would do seven beads, eight beads, and then throw in your charm, and then do the rest of your beads, okay? So totally screwed that one up, but for now, we're just gonna keep it this way. It's still, you'll get the idea. Um, and then for whoever wins, I will fix it before I send it to you, okay? But again, we're just gonna tie it off. So tie one, tie two. Oh, Max is back, I know, he's just the cutest. And tie three, okay? Tie it nice and tight. I hold on each side. So what you see is I'm pulling it on this side and then I'm holding it on this side. Kind of like if you were braiding hair. And I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to glue it. I'm going to flip it over and glue it. Here, you hold it up. Can you add a hook and put it in the middle? Can you add a... Can't you? Add oh, you're right. I could add a hook. Metal. I could add a hook, but I I will do it the right way. The right way would be for me to just have it strung in the yeah. middle. Um, and like I said, who, whoever wins, I'll fix it. Oh, you do like it by the gold bead. Well, yeah, you could do it however you want. That's what's so fun. But when you put them all together, 
Oh yeah, all wait three of them. So Nicole used to make me beads all the time, and I used to love them. We gotta be faster than that. Just give me a total. Ooh, I know. Even, look at she even does it to the grandkids. No, He's not quick enough for us. <laughs> okay, ladies, so here's the final part. So now, again, all I've done is tie it off. I'm keeping it tight. Oh, they said don't count so loud. You know when Max is back, you see the dog? I know, Gunner. I will tell you, he is the most protective dog. Okay. He will not leave my kids alone. Like, he's so good about keeping them safe. I love Gunner, him. Gunner, come here. We have the number. Okay. Okay. Guys, I need you to give me the number of all of these beads. There's this box, this box that Max just counted, and this box. Give me the, whoever comes closest to the total of all of them, they're all together. Uh, somebody loves your watch band. Thank uh, you. Carol Davis loves it's, um, I, I think that one day I should be an influencer, but I follow a lot of influencers, and... Um, you should be. You could be. You could. You totally could be. If you have your own TV show, you will. Okay. Give me the total of these three boxes. That's all we added. Oh, no, no, no. Those three plus this one. So start giving me totals, and whoever comes the closest is going to get all three bracelets. So, um, but anyways, it's called Sparkle, my band. And she's a ton of them, and they're so cute. It's S-P-A-R-K-L. Are they real or are they fake? She uses real Gucci, Louis Vuitton things, takes some um, pieces of them and turns them into jewelry. That's what Carol Davis does. Carol Davis, you need to be doing this. Are the charms from Michaels? Uh, no, the charms I actually got off of Amazon. Here's all the beads. Start giving me totals. The total number of beads. To pull it over a little bit. <laughs> well, I don't want to keep it up here because oh. I know some There's of no these way. freaks There's will start counting. Do you want to know what the total is? Okay. So, ladies. I know. All right. So, we're ready to start cutting and making some adjustments to the bracelet. Now, what we're going to do. So, keep your eye on the numbers. And tell is, because this is the first one we did. So, I know that this one's dry. So, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut pretty close. Oh, super close. But because the, the glue is dry, you yeah, can do that? Yeah, because it's so strong. Here, I'll show you. So you can see I left just a little bit, okay? Same thing on the other oh side. I'm going to cut. Mm -hmm. uh, Carol Davis said she can make you a Gucci. Oh, really? Um, okay, so see, just cut a little bit. But this is where this piece comes into play and why these end pieces have to have such a bigger hole at the end. Okay, so this one, that's why it has such a bigger Who hole at the end. Who set up a bad face? I hope that was a mistake. <laughs> there should be not be no reason me. to be mad. If that was I not am a spiritual real. gangsta today. Nobody can be mad at me. Uh -huh. Okay, so oh, here. People, but, um, now it's dry, okay? So, so if you see, I can pull it apart. It's nice and dry. I'm gonna take this bead and I'm gonna shove it over top of the, um, so I shoved it over top of the tie. So see how it completely hides the tie? Now, the only issue is this clamp, it's a little tight, so it's not even. So don't ever um, feel stuck with that. I can loosen the clamp a little bit. So you just take your tool at the end here and you just kind of loosen it a teeny bit. Let's just do it. And why are we loosening it? Well, because look, if I didn't loosen it, do you see how there's this space right here between the bead and the gold bead? That does not look right. That's not how it should be. It should be flush from this bead to here. Wow, perfection, perfectionist, mm -hmm. perfectionist. Yep. Um, I love that you guys are all, somebody's gotten so close you have no idea. So uh, just so you know, somebody's super close. <gasps> okay, there, so I loosened it just a teeny bit. Now see how flush it is? So now look at, you're good to go. There's bracelet number one. We don't see the tie off. We don't see any of it. Nice and clean. Okay, I'm not gonna say who, but somebody got right on the number already. Somebody is right on the number and Max and I can't even believe that somebody's gotten right on the number. We're not gonna tell you who, but somebody I got right on the number. I think somebody counted. <laughs> How would they okay, have counted? So now we're gonna tie this one, okay? Or cut this one. So here, we're gonna cut here. 
Uh, you're showing the little stretchy under the knee, the knee the bead. Yeah. Am I showing? Oh, Michelle Hall. You guys don't encourage her. You guys know better Thanks, than Michelle. this. Thanks, <laughs> Michelle. Okay, so now all I'm doing again is just cutting at the end. It's all I've done is just cut off the excess of the elastic. Same thing. I'm going to take this piece here and pull it over top of the tied off elastic. That's all I'm doing. Okay, Marek, where have you been? Get in here. You've missed everything. Sometimes you have to um, twist it a little. Robin Neal, a thousand, a thousand beads. That might be a little, a little exaggerated. There's no way there's a thousand beads. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, okay. Come I on. mean, maybe we have a thousand beads, but I don't think there are a thousand beads. True, we have a thousand the, beads in the house. That's for the, sure. In a total of all those. I know, you guys. These beads are the sweetest color. Right. They're like wow. that ballet pink. This one's giving me a little bit of trouble. When I have time, I'll play with it, but. Um, you can see now you can see that there's a string. I just have to work with it, but I don't want to waste your time So you can see though, it's nice and flush and we've got the chain. I can pull with the chain And so so far can we try them on you've got these two. Well, they're not gonna fit your wrist. I made them kid size oh. Watch watch me If you break them. Oh, well, no, I have they're a little tiny tight little I have a tiny little wrist, but look you guys Sorry. And if Sissy Hudson is on, um, she sent me a gift this week and I brought it here with me. So she sent me a bracelet, which is so pretty, and some other stuff, which I'll show when I get back. Um, you've been busy shiplapping. Shiplapping your oh, so bathroom? Fun. Okay, hey, so same you might thing. Need to show us. I just cut. Hi, Marilla. And now I'm going to pull this over. I did my. I was moving so fast, I definitely did too much glue. You gotta be careful, if you do way too much glue, sometimes it's hard to get that pulled so over. So what, what I'm trying to understand is that the glue goes underneath the bead? Yeah, so see, this is the glued part and I'm putting it into the bead. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, I'm just oh, shoving it into the bead. Oh, I do see, bead. so but that is key. If you make your, like, if you tie off and it's too thick, which I, it's been so long, you guys, since I've done this, that I might have done a little bit too much glue. Mm -hmm. So I may have to come back and there we go. Okay. Um, the reason why we're answering how many beads is whoever answers the correct amount or closest gets all three of these bracelets. But would they be for their granddaughters? Yeah. Okay. They're kids' get, bracelets. They are kids' bracelets. Whoever uh, gets closest, and someone so far has been right on, just so you guys know. Someone's been right on. Hi, Diana Rutledge. I hope you watched the other day, Diana, when I talked about all the stuff you sent me for my birthday, which I love so much. Okay, so you guys, again, I have to loosen my bead just a teeny bit on this one, but look at, now you've got that, and I was able to get it, the string over it so you don't see the, the tie. I'm third grade. Uh, yes, Max going into in, four. Going into fourth, and somebody wants to know if Nicole could write down um, directions, and she offered to, and I was like, oh, I don't want you to have to do that, you're so busy, but... Um, I think she asked if I could write down how many, how many beads, beads for yeah. an adult size. For an adult size, honestly, a lot of times, you guys, no, when I do this, no. I'll just continue to wrap it around my wrist to see how it fits. But I would say for an adult size bracelet, usually 20 something, or like in the small 20s. Okay, Cindy wants to know, why wouldn't you just glue the knot inside the bead? Because I have to tie it outside. So when you're tying it off, I have to tie it off and glue it first and then pull it in. I mean, if you guys have ways of doing it that work for you, honestly, try whatever you can. Um, but that's just what I have, how I've made them. How do you loosen the bead? What do you mean? I don't know. Somebody just said, how do you loosen oh, the bead? Oh, to loosen. Oh, I see. Um, so I had to loosen like these. The um, If you need to loosen, it's the little crimp bead. You just go to the crimp bead and take your pliers and just crimp it the other way. And if you crimp it the opposite direction, then it loosens it and puts it back to a oh, circle. Oh, super smart. Look mm -hmm. at all those, uh, look at all those. Wow. Okay, so some lady teaches fourth grade. She said, you seem really smart. He is very smart. He just did his, um, what testing smart. was it called? Star. Star testing, and he tested in the 88th percentile in the nation. He's smart. Sassy Pants is at school, and then she's gotta go to her gymnastics tryout, right? Tomorrow. Who do you think is Sassy Pants? 
Kinsley. Yeah. <laughs> also Kinsley. dramatic. You touch, you grab her arm, she oh, starts crying like crazy. She's very dramatic. <laughs> she is. We call her sassy pants, Max. So look at, here's your set. So if you were to order them from me, this is what you would end up with. Okay, so you have, and roughly how much do you charge for like those three bracelets? Oh gosh, it's been so long. I don't know. I mean, I think I charged 20 something for a kid stack. Is that crazy, you guys? Or, our, our whole family, we don't know how to charge yet. We're working on it. We're I trying. Know. I don't know. But see I how say, fun they are? But they're adorable. And what a great job did she do. And mm -hmm. somebody got right on the number. And uh, so if you guys are still, because um, if somebody else got right on the number, we'll do a runoff. But so far, we've had one person get, uh, Sue Fainis did a great score, Max. Uh -huh. Yeah, you did do such a good job. Um, okay. So let me, I'm gonna give it one second. Uh, okay, Nicole's gonna do her cheer. I'm gonna give you guys another second to keep, uh, to keep uh, adding. Uh, but oh. somebody's right on. And I, Max and I both, we both saw it at the same second when it came up and we were floored. Um, oh, I need cute to, bracelets, I need to Nicole. see this Let's really quick. Let's get some music. Wait, not music. Yeah, music. Um, I'm uh, gonna do a cheer. Yeah, she did a great job. But I gotta remember what cheer it is. I'll show you the one. So we just had cheer tryouts for Poway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can show you that cheer. So How funny. Mommy's gonna do a cheer. How funny is this? Uh, you, I need you to keep your fans entertained for a second while okay. I get this. So let me entertain. Out. Let me. Okay. So I thought I was gonna go live with um, the sassy pants and her sister on Wednesday, but that's a bad day for the girls. Um, what day can I go live with the girls? Uh, Thursday, Thursday is probably going to be your best bet. Will be my next day with the girls, well, and Max will be, and Max will be back. Thursday. Yeah, but she's home all day. Oh. So, and then I'll be back, and I've got something for Max to do too. Hold on, I gotta just do it one time without you guys. Looking all right, Nicole's gonna practice without us for a second. Okay, so um, <laughs> yes, let's see. You guys are still low. Somebody, I mean, somebody was right. Right on the note, right on the money, which blew me away. Um, if you guys could see over here, Nicole's practicing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she's got it. Okay, you ready? Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna do it with Are you going to do it with music no, or it's with? A, it's a cheer, mom. Not it's me. a cheer, mom. And she doesn't even know what a, a roach clip was. Um, Wrong. Yes, Thursday shenanigans with the, with the grand girls. And with Max, if you want to, do you want to do it with us too? What? Okay. okay. A crack. I got this. All right, Nicole's ready. All right, everybody back up. Here we go. Nicole's ready for a cheer. Back up. You ready? <laughs> I step clap the first time because that's the rule in high school now. G, G, O, O, go. Titans, go. G, G, O, O, go. Titans, go. G, G, O, O, go. Titans go last time. G G O O go. Titans go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you feeling it? Okay. Humiliation. What, what? Total humiliation, Max. That is <laughs> Did right. it. Total, total humiliation. Nope. No, Robin was no. Robin was second. Okay, Beth. Beth St. Peter's Edgman, whatever your most regal name is, you were right on. It was 213. So Beth, private message, she was the first one to get it. Beth, private message me your address and Nicole and I are going to send these to you. <laughs> Wonderful job. And she nailed it. The first one I saw was Pam Elliott who had 210 and Max and I were like, oh, she's so close. It's crazy. Um, okay, so that was Nicole's cheer that she had for <laughs> the um, the girls trying out, which obviously is beginner. If you saw Nicole's video for the TV show tryout, I was floored. There's jumps, there's like girls throwing Standing. up, there's baskets. Get back. Get back. So anyway, <laughs> very fun. Nicole, great job today. Ow, oh, sorry. Thank you. Great That's job dating. today. Um, I hope you guys learned a lot. Beth, you're gonna get these. Um, we will keep you posted. So tomorrow, Nicole is leaving to go on a one week glamping river rafting trip in Moab. Yep, with Moab. no kids. Isn't that crazy? So I'm gonna have Max and the girls for the week. 
How's that gonna go? Oh, Beth says she never wins she anything. Yay, good job, Beth. Beth, you won. Just having your regal name is a winner. Max, how do you think this week's gonna go with you guys with Bubby? I don't know. You don't Chaos know. Chaos with the girls. <laughs> Maybe. Hopefully not. My friend, my friend's here. Somebody said two twelve. That was very. Close. That was so close. It was two thirteen. So I will be back Thursday, if not before, with the girls. I'll be back Friday with something just for us. Uh, but uh, Thursday, most likely with the girls, is going to be a kids' craft. But it's really cute. I've got um, jewelry boxes for the girls, and I've got something special for Max. So. Ooh. Wow. All right. Nicole, anything you want to say? Did I get to paint a baseball bat? Oh, yeah, you'll have to go back and watch it. Um, no, I just am so glad that you guys enjoyed this. I don't ever feel like I have something that I can share. And this was huge. Did I you got, like I, I got felt got like this was it. huge. It was a lot. This was a lot, too, and she did it really fast. And In time for us to pick, hey, dude, chill. In, In time, time for us to pick up the girls. We're not going to be late. Can I stay here. I know. So, okay. Can Love you guys. Here? Yeah. Well. All right, love you guys. Have a great rest of your night, and I will see you. Uh, yeah, Nicole's going glamping. I don't get the whole thing, but you I'll know. be back. Maybe I'll come back and do uh, yeah. a necklace. Okay, buddy, get out of here, dude. Sorry, it's gonna be a long week. Uh huh. Um, I can do the necklaces one time. Yeah, so Nicole will come necklaces. back and do the necklaces sometime when you agree to come to Arizona. Oh, I have to be with you. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Wow. Okay, maybe not. All right, Beth, congratulations. Love you guys. Have a great rest of your night. I always say if you were going to share this, it's okay. It's okay to share this one. It was fun. Why wouldn't you? I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I get nervous about them sharing some because I think other people don't get us just like our people get us. Oh. Yeah, not everybody gets us. Did you us. think we weren't fun today? That other people might not think we were fun? No, I think we're very fun, Nicole. <laughs> Okay, I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Thank you.